Hello and welcome, family, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living truly in your own narrative because we're getting closer. We're getting really, really close, family, to that breakaway. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that watches us, that has subscribed to the channel, and to all our Patreon supporters. Family, we are literally, I love to say this, you know, 100%, you know, black supported or supported by our own, which means this truly is, uh, it's kind of given me the space to really talk about the, the things that we need to talk about and not worry about other things. So definitely consider supporting us on our Patreon for as little as $2 a month or consider a love donation through PayPal and support your own family, not just me, but others who are giving you the message that you need at such a time as this because the warfare is so deep. Some of you have no idea, like, because we are on the front lines, we're the ones that people, these conversations are happening everywhere, but we're the ones at the front lines who are kind of bringing it out to the masses. And so there is always a lot of, like, spiritual attacks, which, you know, at the, on these new dimensions, they don't even touch us, but those are stories for other days. A family, shout out to the wind. We had a conversation. <laughs> Uh, I'm joking. Uh, you know, we've been had. There's been some really powerful wind that's been coming through when I've been recording lately. So I really do apologize uh, for the quality of sound. It almost felt like I, I, I couldn't explain it. I didn't know if it was a spiritual attack because um, so much happened, family, to kind of try and get me to stop doing the show just before this Lion Gates portal. And I will to do a totally separate show on the Lion's Gate portal and this particular season. This is such an important season, family, to be planting seeds. But I'll do a separate show on that and I'll release it uh, very, very soon. And of course, our Unity communities. So many people are responding. Uh, we're about to create our very first communities in Kenya, South Africa, Florida. And we've received requests from everywhere. We're waiting to Till we you know reach about a dozen people in every city before we actually form the group and these are just conscious communities that's all we can even think of them as philosophical societies or whatever it's really about uh, for us to have that space where we can come together and kind of just um, share our knowledge share our experience or just be on that vibe with people who get us because, you know, a season and time is also coming where we won't be interacting as much as we have with these lower vibing beings who look like us and those who don't look as like us. Uh, another story for another day. Family, I talked about this. I mean, at this point, I'm just, I feel like I'm just being, you know, redeemed. I talked about this, about the dangers of doing those, um, you know, those DNA tests, family through Ancestry.com and 23andMe. I'll even try and find the show. I, I think I did it three or four years ago, and I was warning you guys against, you know, um, you know, giving your information to these companies because they would later sell it. And I told you they were looking for a particular DNA sequence. They were trying to map all the DNA because they showed that Africa only has like, I think only like less than 2% of our DNA is mapped or whatever. You know, they're trying to get that God gene figure out. They're trying to figure out about us and our melanin. And now it's funny. And, and a lot of people said I was a conspiracy theorist, blah, blah, blah. But now family, the divided states, um, actually a Pentagon intelligence guy actually came out and he warned against, uh, you know, uh, taking home kits. Now, back in the day, back in 2019, they actually warned their military against um, submitting to these online ancestry. And they said because particular bioweapons could be designed for particular DNA streams which is how AIDS was created, stories for other days, but you guys need to read that book, um, I, you can see it here, I can't remember, by Horwitz, and do your research. Because I remember back in the day, I met someone at the WHO who told me, allegedly, he was a scientist, allegedly, he told me that a black woman was missing a particular gene that a Mzungu woman had, so if she slept with someone who had HIV, she had a t like something like a 
21 chance of getting it. Whereas if a Mzungu slept with the same man, it was reduced to like one. I mean, that, it was like that kind of thing where we were more susceptible. And this, was, this is not something that's new. But what they're afraid of now is a lot of their own people have actually been going to these 23 and Me to find out, you know, who, you know, their different uh, GNA, DNA, whatever, their ancestry. And now China has entered the game and is buying up a lot of genetic information. And the crazy thing is, family, a lot of these companies like 23 and Me and Ancestry.com, um, you know, are actually, I think they're even on the stock market, so they can literally be bought out. And that information now becomes data that they can use against you, which is what Babylon had planned. But now China, you know, they're fearing that China will come in and use that, use their, you know, buy up these companies. I swear, capitalism, man, it's like a snake that ends up eating its, uh, its own tail that will buy up these companies and now you, you know, create weapons that can literally take out, like, all the black people in America, all the Mzungus in America. I mean, th that's what they're fearing right now. And it's funny because I'm looking here. Uh, back in 2019, um, there was an internal memo, memo where Pen Pentagon leadership urged milita military personnel not to take mail-in DNA tests, warning that they create security risks, are unreliable, and could negatively affect service members' careers. Um, and they talked about how it does not, they didn't name any particular DNA testing companies, but counsels broad, broadly against buying ancestry and health kits promoted um, with certain discounts and incentives. And um, it's funny because now all of a sudden I can't open this story. But family, please just be really, really, care be, be really, really aware in this season. I told you, you can spiritually figure this stuff out. You don't need to give nobody. At this late in the game, you shouldn't be giving nobody your blood, family. This late, if you're chosen, your spiritual team won't even let you. So I found the article finally, and it says, you know, a member of the House Intelligence Committee warned America to stay away from DNA testing services as the information could be used to develop bioweapons targeting specific groups of Americans or even individuals. Uh, and this uh, representative, Jason Crow, made the comments during an appearance at the Aspen Security Forum in Colorado last week, saying many Americans are far too willing to give up their DNA information to private companies. And I quote, uh, you can't have a discussion about this without talking about privacy and the protection of commercial data because expectations of privacy have degraded over the last 20 years. Young folks actually have very little expectancy of privacy. That's what the polling and data shows. So family, please, if you haven't done these DNA tests and everything, don't do it. If you know you're chosen because there's particular bloodlines they were looking for. And it's crazy that they allowed this to go on for like three years, and there was such a heavy marketing to our people, especially our African-Americans. And they totally pulled on our, our you know, African-American families' emotions. And made it like, you know, find out where you came from and all this stuff. And, you know, there are countries like Sierra Leone. Shout out to my brother, Search for Uhuru. Uh, where, you know, you, if you show, if you can do a DNA test showing that you have ancestry in Sierra Leone, they'll actually give you a passport and residency. He's actually been organizing that, you know, free plug. But, I mean, if you've already done it, family, then you really need to get deeper into overstanding and understanding and understanding your power. Because, you see, we are a mystical people. Our mind is capable of way more than we've ever been told. And I'll give you a little nugget here. And I really hope that one day we can create our own spaces where I can share more of this. But you have the power of the tongue 
to call, your, to call on your blood anywhere and everywhere, where your blood is. You can call that blood back to you. You can call that blood to self-destruct. We have no idea the power of blood, family, and the power of our own blood. And it's funny because, you know, so many blood rituals were done to keep me from my destiny. And unfortunately, one time when I was in the divided kingdom, I even removed some blood family. I regret that day forever. But I was taught by a high level elder, magician, wizard, whatever you want to call them. See, uh, actually, this, this, was, this was a medicine woman. That you can call back your blood family. You can call your DNA. You can cancel those things. You may not believe it, but what do you have to lose? That should be part of your prayer regimen or your affirmations that wherever my blood is, that is being used against my consent in any way, especially for my sisters who has, have also had abortions because there's so much that's been done with the fetuses, wherever your blood is that is being misused or your DNA, your spit, any part of your, your system is being used against your will, May it turn on those that are using it. May it die, self-destruct now. Or may it be weaponized to work against the agenda that it's planned for. I'm so serious, family. And for some people, they'll think, you know, that, that's, that's, that we're talking advanced level now. But that is something that you can really do, and you can do it within your ritual. As I said, you know, it's always about working with nature. Our blood is as precious as the oil that we extract from Mama Earth. That's her blood. But that, those are, let, let me not get too carried away. Cancel any of your DNA that is out there that is being used against you, any blood that is, has been taken from you. May it poison those who took it. That's what spiritual warfare is, family. May it be rendered redundant. If we, I'm just giving you this little nugget and those who know will know and they'll get it. But if you have the foresight, family, you are so much more powerful than you know. And we're in a new dispensation now where the power of the tongue is real for you who have done the work or you who are just chosen. You can be as constructive or destructive as you desire. And there are some situations, family, where it's you or them. And, you know, these things of like, I, talk, I really look for that show and I'll try and attach it to this one. Because I even talked about how they could make personalized weapons, especially against like revolutionaries and stuff. If they had your blood or whatever, they could make personalized weapons that could take you out. And there's someone that you guys should definitely check out. Um, and I really believe he was taken out in this way because he was just, he was talking too much truth. And that's Pastor Stephen Darby. Like, if you don't know his works, please, family. Especially if you're still in that religious psychosis and you're trying to get yourself out, he's a great place to start. But he just dropped, just like that. And his family kept it moving because they knew what was up. He had already set everything up. But I really believed uh, uh, such a weapon as this was used on him. But those are stories for other days. Family. Don't let Babylon get you through your emotions. And you shouldn't be giving Babylon any of your information. For real, for real. Now they're telling you. And the only reason they're telling you is because now it's not working in their favor. It's now working as a threat against them because now there's a third party that's come in. China now wants the information and their people's information is also in there. Until next time, family. Tuko Pamoja. So many of us.
us have made transformational changes in the last two years in our lives. Many of us have relocated, many of us have moved out of old relationships, old cities, old ways of being, old careers, and we find ourselves in, in very new environments, both internally and externally. And one of the greatest uh, requests that I get from you guys all the time is do I know of people of like mind, people of like consciousness, people who are also searching or on their awakening journey in your communities who you can get together with, who you can reason together with, because you almost need that support system to create your, your own narrative. Um, and you know, it's something that I actually didn't even fully understand the value of it until I moved to the little village, which I feel is my final destination for now. And you know, I've met so many people, healers, people who are in the new industry um, here. And one of the things is there is like a conscious community, but one of the things is I moved here to hang out with one of my friends. Well, not hang out really, but to kind of, I was, I was spiritually drawn here, but she was already here and she's a healer, a womb healer, etc., etc. a whole other story. And through her, I met another conscious family who do only organic farming from heirloom seeds and through her, you know, I met other community members and I found it so important in terms of anchoring me into my new narrative. And so I really would love it if we could create communities across um, you know, the motherland and across wherever melanated people are across the world family. We are willing to coordinate that here and kind of see where it goes. So if you'd be interested in something like this, definitely email me, Dr. Mumbi at drmumbishow.com. And we're just going to start by, you know, putting people in touch, maybe creating WhatsApp groups, etc., etc. Oh my gosh, it's raining. So definitely consider joining us, family. Tuko Pamoja.